Well, hello everyone. This is Dave from Radical RC. As you may or may not be aware, we're working on an autogyro project, project, and that project is to teach me about autogyros so that I can make a lot of cool parts. Well, one of the things that I've learned is that I need to set the CG of the autogyro by setting the mast angle or the fuse angle. When you suspend the autogyro by the head, the mast should be uh, at 15 degrees uh, towards the nose heavy side. Well, how do we know what 15 degrees is when we've got a model suspended in the air? And I did a little bit of online research and I found there's a digital devices called an inclimometer. And here's one I bought, an eBay purchase. It was delivered to me for $28.99. Um, so hopefully um, I'll be able to suspend my uh, auto gyro by the head and hold this up to the mast and tell if I'm nose heavy or tail heavy, etc. In part two of the video I'm going to go through uh, my auto gyro and see just how badly adjusted it is. Well here's the inclimometer. This is what I was expecting to get. Let's cut it open and it uh, feels kind of heavy. We'll cut it open and see what all's inside. Looks like we have the device. It almost looks like a GoPro camera. I wish it was a GoPro camera for $28.99, but it's not. Uh, let's see, we have a battery. Cut that open. And obviously there's a screwdriver. I guess I'm going to have to take some screws out to install the battery. So why don't we do that? What's the point in reading the directions after all? At least they give us a nice little screwdriver for this. I don't know, usually the free screwdrivers you get, they're always too small, too soft a tip. Some of them have rough bits sticking out of them. I had to throw a few away because of that, but uh, this might make it into my toolbox somewhere. Nice little screwdriver. So let's see what's inside. Ah, well, surprise, surprise. A 9 volt battery holder. Why do you want to bet that this goes in just like that? Ooh, I thought that was mounted. Oh boy, it's not much, uh, not much wire on it. I think I'm supposed to just press it in. There we go. Looks to be plugged in properly. Well, this is the really exciting part of the video. Watching someone turn screws. Oops. Ah, one of the secrets has been revealed. Yes, there are magnets on this. Since the uh, mast on my auto gyro is made out of carbon fiber, these magnets will serve me absolutely no purpose whatsoever. But it's pretty cool. A lot of things you can use an inclinometer for. Um, if you were setting a caster or camber on a go-kart, I used to race go-karts, you could actually measure that with one of these devices. You could measure uh, kingpin angles and such on cars. Measure a lot of things. You can put it on a picture frame and see if it's level. Ah, so it's already on. Here's right side up. And we'll set it down. It says, ah, this bench is perfectly level. Well, here's the instructions it comes with. Operation. Can't be very complicated. Um... Let's see, specifications. 
Resolution 0 0.05 degrees, repeatability 0 0.1 degree, accuracy 0 0.2 degrees, plus or minus. Standard 9 volt battery should last approximately one year of use. Um, let's see. Seems to have auto power off. Okay, so. So if when this is against the mast of my auto gyro, it should be setting at about 15 degrees, which is pretty difficult for me to hold it that precisely. So we'll see that in the next video. Oh, here's something else this thing can do. You can zero it. Like, for instance, let's say you had a uh, model airplane and you needed uh, um, 10 degrees of elevator deflection each way. But uh, we don't have to level the model to do that. The model can be sitting, let's say it's a tail dragger sitting with the tail down. You could set this on the horizontal stabilizer, zero it, and that's as close to zero as I can hold it. So now that is the level position. Then you can put it on the elevator and check your, your deflection and see how many degrees it is each way. So if you think creatively, there's a lot of neato things you can do with a tool like this. Uh, I notice it has a hold function. Um, so if you ha where you might use that is if you were measuring something um, and you wanted to lock in the measurement so you wouldn't have to remember it. If I hit hold, there we go. It's locked that in, so it doesn't matter how I move the device now. So I could walk that back over to a notepad or a calculator and do whatever work I needed to do. I'm sure there's a lot more handy, neat things that you can do with this device, but those are a few of the things that I can think of that um, are related to the model airplane world. Um, these are the magnets, apparently. Yes. And they're pretty powerful, so this would hold itself up uh, on the side of anything. Um, you know, I imagine, you know, I mentioned earlier you could use this to hang a picture, you could use this to level a hearth, uh, a uh, mantle, um, you know, if you're constructing, anything you're constructing that you need to know that it's straight up and down or at a 45 degree angle, etc., etc. This would be a handy device to do that. So let's unhold it and re zero it. Now it's back to zero. So this should come in pretty handy. So thanks for joining me for this. The next uh, little episode of this toy will be actually measuring my machine and we're going to see what's wrong with it. We're going to compare it to a successful one. And I'm sure we'll find out why mine hasn't been very successful so far. That's all.